Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to an episode of Turtle Show. It's on TurtleShow.com. Yeah. We're kind of awake right now. I'm hurting too. I'm just tired. Wounded. Day two with ten. So that sucks. (laughs) (laughs) That's that sucks. Damn. But uh, I'm Mike Floyd, Stephen Harris, as the foe, Yo. and we got a bunch of stuff. To, let's talk about it. Yo, oh bars. Yeah. Y'all Everybody's bars? heard, but it's a bright day for Denver, Colorado. Double CB Deluxe. <laughs> <laughs> deluxe. <laughs> deluxe. <laughs> All right. And so, <laughs> <laughs> so since you already brought it up, go ahead, Harris. Go ahead and kick Man, us off with that. I'm just gonna say, you know, Rockies finally did something right. I mean, they've been doing. The right stuff for a little bit, getting good pitching. They signed Blackman a year or two ago. Wait, did you say they signed a black man? Blackman. Oh, Charlie Blackman. He's a he's a oh. baseball player. Is he, black, say... is he a black man though? No, he's a white guy with a beard. <laughs> like, what kind of beard? Like a Viking beard like or a Viking one like? Beard, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know he can play baseball then. Yeah. <laughs> like, you got one of them super monster beards. Yeah, it's like Dallas Chess. Yeah. And Mo Harris. <laughs> yeah. But no, they signed Nolan Arenado to oh, a yeah. eight year, two hundred sixty million dollar deal, which. Uh, Turns out to actually be in in the time span or whatever. Turns out to be worth more than Manny Machado's deal because it's I mean it's two years less, so he's getting paid thirty three or sorry thirty two point something per year. But he has a no trade clause and an opt out, uh, an option to opt out after three years. After three, ah, uh, but it doesn't it, it doesn't seem like he's gonna do that. No, he's not. How would you bang a home yeah. runs off like that? Yeah, no, it, it doesn't seem like that. That I think that's just in there to make everybody feel better, but. <laughs> World Series of Bust. World I, Series of Bust with the Rockies. Super Bowl of Bust with the with Joe Flacco oh and the Broncos. Wow. No, I wasn't expecting Nuggets that. Nuggets are number I, two. Oh, okay. Oh, Nuggets are number two in the West. Man, we win everything this year. Just putting that out there. Nuggets out there. Good, feeling good. Man. Nuggets feeling good. doing well. I mean, the, I personally feel, feel like he's worth more than that. But I don't know how old he is. Yes, yeah, so he's 20. He's 20. He's older. Seven. Oh, he was one year older, but he. I yeah, personally feel like if I'm a manager, I would go for him over Machado in my, my own mind. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, he's just like. He has more power, in my opinion. He's just, he's not a, he's low-key, like, really great. So, his oh, yeah. entire career has been with, with you guys? Yeah, his entire career has been with the Rockies. He came up through our, uh, uh, the farm system. Like, he's, he's Rockies, you know, through and through. So, he's trying to be, like, the next Jeter. Yeah, and, I mean, mm-hmm. for a while, people were saying he was going to go to the, he was going to try to go to the Yankees, especially when they first started talking about him uh, getting dealt. I mean, people were saying that they needed to trade Nolan, which, Made sense if he wasn't going to, if they weren't going to extend him a contract or if he wasn't going to sign anything. So I'm glad that they finally, I mean, they, they finally came to a deal. I mean, this is a guy, I mean, he's played 156 games in each of the last four seasons, as average 40 home runs and 126 RBIs per season in that span. I mean, he's he, he's, he's four-time he's Silver baller. Slugger, four-time All-Star, six-time Gold Glover, and one-time, uh, one of the league's best two-way players. I mean, this this guy is an amazing talent. And oh my gosh, yeah. for, for the Rockies to have a guy... That they, you know, uh, I, don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to look for. Like they, they, they brought up through their system. Like it's not the guy it's they had to go trade bread. for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's purebred from. They did, they did this in a way. But he was he been balling since he got in the league. Man. Oh yeah, no, for real, for real. Like I mean, he came, well, he came what 2013, I think. Yeah, yeah. And he's been, he was, he's been a powerhouse since. Mm-hmm. Like that was, that was a. And then it, it, you don't really hear about him. Only time I started hearing about this guy was when he started trying to compare who may be better than Machado, who yeah. may give. Like Trout and Har- Harper, uh, um, like a run. Like yeah. Who if, who would you go for if it wasn't those two? And that was that's when I started hearing his name. And then I started looking at his numbers. I'm like, God damn, how yep. this guy so quiet? But that's because it's because of been territorial as hell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, talk to him. That's why. Yeah, that's why it's probably people overlook it, man. But I mean, people were saying. I mean, a lot of, a lot of baseball guys they say he's one of the best third basemen ever. Oh yeah. I mean, some of them are saying he's the best one of the best third basemen ever to play. I and mean, he's one of what? the best third basemen. <laughs> Negative. That's that's what people were saying. Uh, that's what people were saying. Watch him, that's bro. recency He's, bias. That's what people were saying. You, you see yeah, I would play. say the same thing. Recency bias. But when you yeah. watch him play, man, this guy is. I did watch him play because I played a lot of uh, DFS and I would use him all the time. And he would always think it up when I did play him. So, uh, <laughs> you might want to play him in Colorado. I did. <laughs> I did play him in Colorado. And I played everybody else in Colorado, too. Well, the problem is usually when you get your own. Yeah. Usually. Some, no. I would do it, and the Rockies <laughs> like, would just be like, I know, my guy. That's because the problem with the Rockies last year was they were either you're hitting home runs or they were striking out. That's exactly what they're doing. They're striking out every time. Yeah, there was no in between. <laughs> every slate that I had them on, they would strike out. And I was like, you know what? I'm done with DFS baseball. This is a, this is a wash. Yeah. 
You gotta you gotta know what's up. You, you gotta, gotta know really how they feeling, what kind of suit they had that day. Right. You gotta know a whole lot to know. It was uh, my brain was hurting too much. I was like, I'm good. <laughs> no, so, he, I mean, he's a pure talent. Like I personally think that he could he could have signed for more, but I think he wants to start winning. Yeah, he, he could have. He, he definitely could have. He's went definitely a two hundred million dollar guy. Yeah, in my opinion. That's the first time we talk about baseball. <laughs> well, it's baseball season now. <laughs> right now, we are a month away from you know opening or not opening day, but the season opener for, uh, for baseball. Yeah, March twenty eighth in Washington. Those Can't wait. Great. I might watch a game this season. You got 162 chances. So. And I got 162 chances. I probably won't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather watch Legends Football League. Do y'all know what that is? I have no idea. The Legends Football League? No. It's the Laundry League Football League. Yes. No. But they call it the Legends Football League because it's more politically correct. That's actually a lot. Yeah, but I was watching. That's probably hi- more exciting. To be honest with I was you. actually watching highlights of it. I just saw a lady get smoked into it like, because they play like in the old arena stadiums. Yeah. So I oh, saw a lady get God. smoked into that wall and I was like. Ooh. Oh my! With just the shoulder pads, right? The just the shoulder pads. The lingerie league. What are you talking about? Yeah, so they called the Legends Football League, and I was watching the championship games between um Atlanta the and over? Philly. Hmm? Season's already over. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I mean, Hold on. why is this dude talking like? <laughs> it's like, like I didn't even wait like, for it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just, <laughs> no, I'm saying like, about, because I didn't set my lineup. <laughs> no, I mean when 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 the, when the RGB soul was down here, okay. <laughs> I used to watch, I mean, football is football. I don't care what it is. I just want to watch it. it, it unless it's like hard to watch. Nah. But anyway, arena football is actually really exciting. Oh, I love the arena football. Yeah. But during the halftime show, they had a, a lingerie team. Well, I guess the legends. Mother. Well, they you had, might have been watching actual legend, lingerie. These ladies, the Legends Football League, they're legitimately, if they can gain about like another 20 pounds, possibly, they can go to the NFL. I'm just saying. They have the skills to do it. No, no, I'm not saying pipe make. I'm not saying make a team. I'm not saying make a team. I'm saying they could try out, possibly make a team. This is Floyd doing the I mean, so you're Floyd saying this. Floyd, the, this, you can't fall into the trap he's already doing. Because watch, he's like, like, if you fall into this, like I'm about to, <laughs> no, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get take. I already know. I already know. That's why I'm about to be like, okay, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take the bait this time. He's taking advantage of my wounded character. <laughs> Like, I know him. I'm not going to learn how this guy gets down. What are you talking about? No, I know what you're doing. Right. He's already, like, categorizing it right now. Like, I'm about to zoom in right now. But no. Like, the female, the lingerie or a Legends League, it's, they, they're aggressive, man. But, but you don't think any of them can make no, it to the NFL? No. Why not? Bro, the power just, the, bro, really? Whoa. NFL? The Whoa. NFL. Well, we have Tony Harris, who just made History Tuesday, becoming the first female football player in skill position to sign a letter of intent, accept a scholarship at Central Methodist University of Missouri. Harris first made news when she was offered a scholarship back in 2018 to play at Bethany, but she committed to another school. She is a 5'7", 164-pound safety from Detroit. So, I mean, that's right up your alley, dog. I mean, that... that Wait, she's a, she's a safety? She's a safety. Wow. So she's just out there hunting soon. No, she's not. <laughs> no, she's, not. she's probably a free safety, because a safety... Got to come down and stuff that run, bro. And that's not what she she's. She's 164 pounds. Bro, 164, bro. I mean, what? I don't know a running back under like 210. I mean, she's just on the college level right now. I so mean, you're saying she's going to put on 40 pounds? It's possible. And keep her speed? I mean, it's possible. It's great to see it, you know what I'm saying? But I just don't know. I think that's it, it's a milestone in the sense of like, you know, in history and then like mm-hmm. stereotypes and, you know, just like certain social norms among athletics. But. I don't really know what she's really. I mean, I think what she's D three. She's D three, maybe you know. But I mean, still I think it uh, Central Methodist University of Missouri. I think it might be D three. I think it's D three. So you know, scholarship. You know, do academic or you know whatever. I won't pay good. attention to it. I'm, I'm curious to see how this works out for her because she her goal is to play in the NFL. So I do want to see Bro, if she. I just want to see if she makes it. Yeah, she she's been on record saying she wants to she wants to play for the Seahawks. Yeah, so I do want to see if she. <laughs> it's funny how the Seahawks like are like the, the team <laughs> that gets like the. They're like the, the first like progressive team. The, 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 they're the dream yeah. team. Like if you have a dream, you make the NFL, you go to the Seahawks. Well, because yeah. they give you chances. You yep. have it. I mean, it worked hands. out for that one guy. Yeah. <laughs> Shaquille. <Yeah. laughs> he was actually a baller though. Like, no, he, it wasn't like, like, <laughs> he was balling at UCF, bro. Like it wasn't like he so was. So you'd rather take a dude with one hand than a lady with two hands. Is that what you're telling me? Who can stuff the run? Yes. Bro, she literally is. Okay, well, her 164-pound self got to hit that 225-pound running back. Who hits anymore? Nobody tackles. I mean, oh, they just getting away now? Nobody I mean, who, nobody tackles anymore. Well, they do. And especially in college, man, he's banging, man. 
You seen that? Oh, you got to put a post to that LSU practice they were doing. Oh, I, was, I think I know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, man, that, that, that <laughs> yeah. looks rough, bro. Was that the one with over... Oh, it was kind of an old Oklahoma, not really. Like was it Bergeron, though? With the coach. Was it him? Oh, yeah. Okay, because yeah. I saw one with Les Miles, and I saw one with him as well. No, Les Miles, was, Les Miles he, he knew how... how Grinding the season was. He wasn't gonna have to do it in practice. Like, come on now. Bergeron's like, I don't even need a helmet. Let's play Georgia the next week, and you gonna be doing that in practice. Come on, man. But no, I mean, I, props to her, really. But it's like, but real talk though, she does make the NFL. She gonna have like the number one selling jersey. Yeah, you know that jersey gonna sell. And that's what worries me about the NFL because they would sign her just. To- <laughs> I don't know because they, oh, yeah. they, they, they exactly. well they signed Michael oh, Sam and you know saw how that worked out. He was just a trash defensive end. He shouldn't have won the co SEC player defense player of the year. Well, that was that's but because he was trying to do reality shows with Oprah during Who, training camp. Michael working. Sam. Who Sam? No, Michael Sam. Oh, so well, he he put that hot heat on him. Yeah, uh, he should have. I mean, to each his own. Glad that he like you know did his thing, but you know, did his thing. But like he could have maybe waited for after you rookie bro. Like, right. Now you come in the locker room during training camp. And camera's following you. Like, yeah, open. you already a rookie, and now you're going to put that heat on you too, bro. Rookies get abused, bro. Like, come on, man. So, before we get to the whole Nick Foles thing, because I do want to hear y'all's thoughts, because oh, y'all was goodness. going back and forth about this yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I want to talk about uh, Johnny Manziel real quick. He just got released and barred from every other CFL team. <laughs> what? What's the deal with that? So I forgot one. I forgot he was with the CFL, and now he's barred. What? He, like he can't. Like they kicked it. Is he barred from Canada? Bro, he kicked. Ki- they the kicked CFL? him from Canada. Yo, my guy is banned from Canada. <laughs> what did he do? I, the Montreal Alouettes released quarterback Johnny Manziel on Wednesday, saying he's contravened the contravened the agreement, which made him eligible to play. Won't say what so he, he did. So he broke the contract, basically. He somehow so. broke the contract. They informed the eight other teams that he wouldn't register a contract for himself if any tried to sign him. They had the right to him for two full seasons. So even if the Hamilton Tiger Cats wanted his ass back, they're like, nah, fam. He ain't signing with nobody. Like you, you aren't allowed. You're going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> nowhere. We advised, Mar- we advised Montreal that Johnny had violated one of the conditions we had set for him to be in our league, and we announced his release today. We didn't release the terms of those conditions then, and we're not going to do that now. <laughs> Wow. So, he must somebody off, man. So and he got in some trouble. I mean. I don't know, man. Let's see. Uh, the, the, <laughs> a source told ESPN's Kevin Seifert that Menzel violated a set of conditions set forth by CFL when he originally signed with the team. It's probably something like rehab and stuff like that. Kind of like the Josh Gordon agreement with the Patriots. Yeah. yeah. So they're, they're claiming that it's not a result of him attempting to break his contract to play in either the AF or the XFL. But he did recently say on the Barstool Sports Comeback Season podcast that he was intrigued by the prospect of playing either in the Alliance of American Football or the XFL. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. That's, wow. That's interesting. I mean, be, be a good addition to the AAF. No. I, no, it wouldn't. You don't think so? No. No. Just, just publicity? Don't, just we don't want that, well, that. He would be. I mean, I'm not, not saying that people aren't watching. Just he saying would be. there's still you a lot know, of people okay. out there that like Manziel and want to see him play. Actually, I think more people would watch it to see him get jacked up. Yeah. But that's... Football. Oh, that's football. But <laughs> I think he, he. There's enough people like me that hate on him so much that would rather watch him just get destroyed. No, I mean, yeah, I'm not saying I'm not saying that because I like him. I'm just saying that because. I, I think mean, he's. I mean, AFF could use that. Man, we got enough. We got we got Luis Perez. Bruh. We got Philip Nelson. Bruh. Bruh. Those guys don't know. I don't we got I, we got Christian Hackenberg. That's that's that's, <laughs> that's, that's our Manziel life. He's the one that makes that. Manziel bro. life. I, I, I hope so, man, bro. I liked him in college, man. How you go to Penn State looking ball like that? Everybody go to Penn State, start balling, and he want to be the one that start bumming it up. Yo, he bummed he bummed it up at the Jets. He's bummed it up with the Memphis Express. When Jeez, you get bitch with Mettenberg, who never won a game. Yeah. Mettenberg, but Mettenberg was actually good, dude. He no, he was good at LSU. Yeah. But, but when he went to the to bad when he went to the Titans, he went zero and ten. <laughs> That's rough. Yeah, you can't do that. Bro. It's like you didn't win nothing. So switching back over to another quarterback who actually can play when he's called upon in the playoffs, but he can't play during the regular season is our boy Nick Foles. The Eagles decided they're not going to place a franchise tag on QB Nick Foles. He's going to be paying. He opted out of his contract with the Eagles, paying them back two million dollars in February. He stated, "I would love to lead a team at the start to close of the 2018 season. The starter thing, leading the team, impacting the locker room. That's why we play the game to impact people and create an atmosphere." First of all, I think that's crap. I don't <laughs> I don't care about impacting people. I don't care about creating an answer. I want to win games. Yes. Right. So both of y'all had strong opinions about yes. this yesterday. Yes. And I just felt like we should be able to let you air this out in front of each other. Boys just trying to make a tape, bro. I'm not going, I'm not going for the <laughs> No, no. You can literally repeat what you said yesterday. 
Because I was just scrolling. I was like, I ain't got time to read all this. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a good decision. Eagles should have kept it. Period. I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. Wait, how y'all gonna agree with each other now? Well, no, no, because that was the starting. That was that, the starting. We point. agreed on that. We it both agreed on that. that. He thinks Wentz still is like can be something. I do. Uh, yeah, I really uh, do. A uh, body double for somebody. I mean, no, yeah. okay. okay. Wentz, he's only been in the league three years. His first season, he played all sixteen games, seven to nine, and I believe that that was that that was uh, the last year of Chip Kelly. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong on that. I think you are right. Actually, was Chip Kelly there when he got? No. I think Chip Kelly no. was already gone. Was he, was he already gone? Right, I think he was already right. gone. Okay, well, e- either way, his his first his first season, 2016, went seven and nine. Uh, sixty two point <clears throat> excuse me, sixty two point four percent completion rating, sixteen TDs, fourteen interceptions. His rookie year, decent decent numbers, three thousand seven hundred eighty two passing yards. Next year, next year, twenty seventeen, selected to the Pro Bowl, got a knee injury. Games uh, started thirteen games, went eleven and two, eleven and two, got the team in the playoff hunt in his second year. Hurt his knee. Well, had knee surgery. Was out the rest of the season. Nick Foles came in and won him the Super Bowl. You know, all, all's well and good. Came back this year. Missed, uh, I forget how many games he missed at the beginning of the season. Because like, he missed well, like four, I think. Four. Well, six. I think he yeah, six. because he wasn't really ready. Then he came back. Didn't, I'll admit, he didn't look the same. No. He didn't look the same. I don't know if it was a knee injury still nagging him or he's afraid or what. Didn't look the same. Uh, in the games that he, it says he started 11 games. Uh, according to Pro Football Reference, started eleven games, went five and six in those in those games. Uh, Sixty nine point six completion percentage and three thousand seventy four passing yards, twenty one TDs, and seven interceptions. Not 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 bad numbers for not having the best year and getting hurt uh, with his back injury again that they said didn't need surgery. It really wasn't an injury and they didn't put him on injury reserve. But that's that's neither here nor there because they didn't, they didn't go anywhere. Nick Foles came in, did what he had to do to get into the playoffs. And wasn't able to go. Uh, wasn't able to have the same magic and finish from there. He could have, but it just certain things didn't go right. Yeah. I personally feel like backup quarterbacks are so important in this league. And I, I agree with you on that. I think Wentz is still a franchise quarterback, but he's got one more injury, bro. And personally, like now the, the numbers don't really matter. Three thousand yards is not honestly. If you're not doing like almost five thousand and a half, like fifty five hundred yards nowadays, well, at least at least five thousand, at least five thousand yards. Mm-hmm. You're not even like now the full four thousand yard thing is like a normal thing now. Everybody's doing that. Like even like I mean Mahomes threw for like five through Mahomes yeah. a freak of nature though. Yeah, but I mean okay. <laughs> but in the eleven games he played that he started in this season, in his three thousand yards, he had twenty one touchdowns on those three thousand yards and only seven interceptions. I don't I mean that those numbers don't impress me. Those aren't like those aren't that, like, that's not surprising, bro. Okay. Eleven Your game games. Is not Eleven games. games. That's not even the full season. Eleven games. Twenty-one, bro. What was the, the record? Like fifty. The record. He didn't even half of that. Like, I'm, what, like, but, but, oh, he. That's almost half of that. Twenty-one. Twenty-five is half. Twenty-five. The record's like what fifty-seven now in the yeah, season. The game no, manager that or it, it's Ray, a lot. Rogan, yeah, it's, it's like fifty-seven, lot. which is impressive. That's a lot. Man. Yeah. <laughs> so, but no, twenty-one. I mean. Eh. Like, I mean, you look at the, I, the Eagles weren't really a factor. I mean, they were a wild card only because, only because the Vikings couldn't close it out. The Eagles wouldn't even have been in the playoffs. I don't look at that as like, oh, he did so great this season, but y'all was barely a wild card. Like, I mean, come on. But see, but my thing is, I'm not, I'm not saying he did great this season. Part of our argument was he's injury prone. His first year, he played the entire season. In 2016, he played the entire season. Pretty in 2016. Okay, but in 2017 he played he played 13 he games played, before he the knee. Well. He did, he did yeah, well. before the knee injury came in. Yes. And then 2018 he played 11 games uh, before the back injury sidelined him and coming back from the injury. I I I don't think that means he's injury prone. To me that doesn't that doesn't equal injury prone. That just means he had two injuries in a span of two years. He's had a three year career so far. Right. Um, I don't think he had injury problems when he was in college. It, it, I I me. think it's just unfortunate the injuries happen in back to back years. It say say he had a 20 year career. And this and the knee injury happened in the second year, and the back injury happened in his nineteenth year. That wouldn't make him injury prone. I, we want to talk about this we, the same we because would, we're talking about this as injury prone because he's only had three years. Well, we're talking about this because it's so early on. Like when you have yeah. an injury, knee injury or back injury in year like eleven, it's different than when you have it year two. Okay, and especially when you have it not in the pocket, it's like come on, you were trying to yeah. be you know Barry Sanders out here, and that's what happened. I think that he is injury prone. I think when you got three years in, you your team in the playoffs for two years, and you ain't seen a single playoff game. I think that's a problem. I mean, 
it ain't and the thing is it's not pocket issues. Like Peter's just doing what he can to protect this guy. <laughs> and this guy just wants to get hurt. Like really, he's just like, no, I'm gonna do what I want to do. And now he's, I think that he gets hurt again either whether it's this coming season or the next season. I will start shopping him because it's 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 not. I mean, if you know he's gonna he can get jacked up, why get rid of Tony? Like when you know, like because now you have nothing. You really do. Like I feel like once you know you get hurt, I guarantee you get hurt before we get. I promise you. Like and. But but Foles Foles up Foles was about the money I think. No, because I he, think Foles wanted to, wants to play. All of a sudden he went from wanting to retire to now all of a sudden I want to go to Jacksonville because I feel, I feel like yeah. where else would he go? Yeah, because after he left St. Louis, uh, was it St. Louis or Kansas City? But whichever one is when he was talking about retiring. He was everywhere, they, man. Yeah, then Philadelphia picked him back up again. Yeah, but they they were going to pay him either twenty million or or uh, he bought out he bought out he paid the team two and a half two million? and a half million to get out of that yeah, to get out of his, his contract his and then they could franchise like, <laughs> awesome could you imagine how pissed off yeah but I mean but he's still he's a competitor man I, I just uh, I, I don't believe in wins like I thought because I mean this is not like it's like his hand or shoulder this is like his back his, his back yeah. these are like these, these these are things that will deteriorate anyway over time through a career mm-hmm. and he's already having these issues and then he got hurt before the playoffs last year. He comes back five weeks into the regular season, and he's still beat up. No, no, man, that's not. I mean, you really got to see how he how he looks. Because I don't right. think Wentz is the same caliber as like a Peyton Manning or Andrew Luck. I think he's a, a tier below that, in my opinion. I feel like Eagles know how to make you look good. Because Eagles really haven't had like real quarterback, in my opinion, ever. So uh, Donovan McNabb. I was about to say. I don't know why you guys about to make me do that right now. A why Don Big Nab? Don Big Nab right was a legit. Do I need to bring up his stats? Bro, do you need to bring up his Super Bowls? Oh. How many Super Bowls does <laughs> freaking what's his face have? Who? Your boy, you just argued about. Yeah, he don't even have a playoff game. Oh. No, Wentz. He don't even have a playoff game. Exactly. Right? Oh, Super Bowl. I'm just saying. Okay. Wentz. But he is a better. He ain't. Cause look, here's the thing. McNabb was a runner, bro. Let's let's keep it real. You know how I feel about running quarterbacks. He so was a runner. He was. And he he was, was also two hundred and thirty-five pounds. <laughs> a bruiser. <laughs> he was like, but Brandon. Okay, keep in mind, Brandon Jacobs was two sixty-five. Brandon Jacobs. Yeah. And Donovan Manab was like two thirty-five, two forty on, on a heavy day. <laughs> Come on, man! Like that, <laughs> you can't be out here and be at like fullbacks on the ball. <laughs> so no, I don't believe in wins like I, I thought I did. I want to be proven wrong. It's just that I don't know, man. Back knee, year three. Before we leave, leave, off, leave off of that, he lost by three points in that Super Bowl. I'm We're just saying. <laughs> I'm so stuck on the fact he doesn't want to give Donovan McNabb his props. It's like, what did Donovan ever do he to you, man? To? He lost to the Broncos? No, he, he lost, lost to the, the Patriots. Patriots, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do remember that yeah. now. He's the um, Eagles all-time pass, leader in passing tips. Pass, that, which is that passing yards to passing touchdowns. What should that tell you? He's the fourth quarterback in NFL history to mass more than 30,000 passing yards, 200 TDs. Yeah, the only th- for the first three quarterbacks to accomplish his feet were Frank Targeton, John Elway, and Steve Young. That makes him dope. <laughs> yes, that makes him dope. Two hundred, two hundred passing yards, two hundred, two hundred touchdowns. That's what makes him dope now. Two hundred touchdowns. You got guys throwing for forty-five a year, and you talking about two hundred touchdowns? Man, oh, this he was, he was the fourth in NFL history. Do it. it was a different time. What? When did he? When did he this, this is before. This is before the PEDs and the new Nike shoes and stuff. And, I mean, how many picks he had, bro? That's what I want to make sure. We're not going to talk about yeah, those. Yeah, I want to make sure how many interceptions right. he had because he had 200 touchdowns, but how many picks in career? Not how many? many? Please. 234 touchdowns, 117 interceptions. 117? Yeah. How many Aaron Rodgers had? Oh, uh, no, man. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Come on, man. Here's the thing, you gonna bring but, up, you but gonna bring Nav is not mentioned in any of that, bro. He is a non-factor when you want to talk about the greatest quarterback. He's not even top 30, bro. What? He's not. What? He's not. What? Jesus Christ. We look, oh, y'all trying to get me sparked up. All I'm, saying, saying, all I'm saying, in the, no. No, no, all I'm saying, if you if you want to talk about touchdown interception, you got to. All right, but who you afraid of fourth quarter? I want to make sure, because I know Donovan Nav, he's like, oh, well. No, yeah. Hey, well. Brett Favre. <laughs> we got a chance Brett Favre. Okay, yeah, so question, I'm, question. If he didn't have Andy Reid as a coach, you think he would have won that game? You trying to blame Reed on that, bro? Come Andy Reid cannot win a Super Bowl. Oh my God. Andy Reid cannot Andy win Reed playoff games. Andy uh, Reed has, has Andy Reid won a Super Bowl? No, he has not. Has Andy Reid actually won a playoff game that actually mattered? No. Exactly. No. But that don't mean it's Andy Reid is the factor in Andy every Reed's single way. Donovan is the reason they got there. Donovan is the reason he got there. Oh my Patrick Mahomes is the reason they got there. 
Andy Reid wasn't out there running the ball. He wasn't with him in the gym. Bro, he's skinny. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking about his culture. No, no, you know Andy Reid was in the gym. I mean, Andy Reid was at the taco stand, but either way, either way. No, Andy Reid got him there. McNabb is not anywhere in my top anything, man. He's historic from Philly because Philly ain't really had nothing. First NFL quarterback to throw for more than 30 touchdowns and fewer than 10 interceptions in the season, 2004. Tied with Jim Kelly for the most playoff wins by a quarterback who didn't win a Super Bowl with nine. The record for the most playoff wins by a quarterback before eventually winning the Super, first Super Bowl is held by John Elway with 10. I don't know why they're trying to put Don Reed in the same category as John Elway. I don't, I, that's disrespectful. They both yeah. got big ass heads. I mean, yes. I feel like they're going to make him a Hall of Famer one day. He ain't gonna, he, obviously, he's not a first ballot. You know, you're gonna, I mean, hell. When do you retire? Has he even like, been on the oh, so He's he been retired for a long time. Yeah, he's been retired for a minute. Eligible. Yeah. He's definitely eligible. Yeah, but he's not a really Hall of Famer because he really didn't do much. Bro. They still, they still got a whole bunch of other quarterbacks they got to go through yeah, right yeah. now, man. They got, they got, 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 a, whole got a whole lot of stuff to do. before they get to his name. Because he wasn't. I mean, what? This is his first quarterback to throw for 30 touchdowns and 10. 30 touchdowns, bro? Really? I think Nick Foles threw for 30 touchdowns in the season. No. I think he did. No. Remember when Nick Foles threw for seven touchdowns in one game, bro? He has the record, I think, for no touchdowns in a, in a one single game. Nick Foles does. Yeah, he threw for 27 in 2015. Who? Nick Foles. What did he throw for that seven in one game? It was, it was, it was that season. It was that season. Because I, wow, I, I remember that season because in one game. it happened, it happened <laughs> like... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Peyton Manning threw for seven against the Ravens. In the season opener that year. Oh, really? Oh, you just want to throw it out there? Oh, yeah. Really? really? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. And then... Did y'all win anything that year? Oh, that's, you know, that's Floyd we, we won enough. Floyd does that, man. <laughs> the Ravens, <laughs> the Ravens didn't win anything that year either. So much did, oh, like, oh, I'm just going to throw it out there. Oh, we just <laughs> happened to win. That's not get the best defense ever. <laughs> but Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on. What year was this? This is 2013. This is after the Super Bowl. That, okay. Super Bowl hangover. Oh, Ray was Super Bowl hangover, yeah. Yeah, Ray yeah. was already done. Ray was already retired. No, how you come out the <laughs> right. opener after the Super Bowl and get seven put on you? Like, because, <laughs> one, we weren't playing at home. We had to go play in stinky-ass Denver. Up no, in that highest air. Yeah, we had what? playing that thunder. There was thunder and lightning we, all over the place. Exactly. We even because gave you. Y'all went and got the weather machine. We even and y'all went ahead and made the, the thunder. No, and there was, the Super Bowl we gave, like that first we, we gave y'all. <laughs> we gave y'all more time to get acclimated by bringing in the weather, having the lightning delay of you know almost an hour and a half. Ahead of time. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> then we even, we even let y'all put, put posters of Joe Flacco up all over the city. To let y'all feel at home because the Orioles want to want to give up the stadium. Who are y'all, trash? Y'all, y'all, y'all right. could y'all could be on baseball. Like, y'all could be on your baseball team. <laughs> the Super Bowl champions Bro, play in that city. How you let seven? And we still put seven touchdowns. Still, on. No, he threw for seven. Yeah, it's not that hard seven. when it's like people are hitting home runs out of y'all stadiums. It's not that hard for Peyton Manning who's juiced up out of his in, in, oh, in his oh, neck. Bro, oh, forever. What? <laughs> he said they juiced, bro. Oh my he god. He literally got busted for juice coming in his no, house. No, he did it. It was his wife. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was sent to his wife. Oh my goodness. I they cleared him. Floyd is such a troll, man. They cleared him. I can't even. Oh, okay. I can't. No. His uh, wife was the his wife's name was on the box. <laughs> <laughs> on the box. <laughs> Bad move, Eagles. Bad move. Shouldn't have did it. You shouldn't have done that. Yeah, yeah, no, back back to that. Back to that. Jesus Christ. They should have kept Foles, but the price was going to be too much for a backup quarterback. 20 mil? Or whatever the franchise tag. The franchise tag would have been almost 20 mil. Anyway. when you go to the playoffs, I'm telling you, because now the Cowboys are going to the playoffs again. Giants ain't about to do it. You really, think, you really yes. think the Cowboys are going to do Cowboys, something in the playoffs? Because we want to why. Let me tell you why Cowboys are going to do this. Because one, the backs against the wall. Cowboys always perform when they know when Cowboys come out. When they count them out, Cowboys will show up. When you depend on them, they will let you down. My guy, they still have Jason Garrett as a coach. And that's what yeah. answered this fifth year. And he's not, they're not resigning him. He's going to ball. They, they're they going to go 11 to 5, maybe 12 and 4. I promise you. That's going to be BS and pissed. And then some random ass team is going to put him out. Yeah. I mean, of like, course. Like but the fucking mean, Buccaneers. But, but, <laughs> no. That means, that means the Buccaneers are in the playoffs. No. <laughs> hey, man. No. no, no. Not Jemias a- Winston. Or Fist Magic. One of them. One of them. Those, baby. He's about to throw so many picks. <laughs> like, I, I watch him just so I can laugh. Like, like, <laughs> like you, when you averaging like three picks a game. Right. <laughs> like, when I see that. But what it is, that number four. I just love that number four, man. Like, yeah. when I see Brett Favre, I just smile. When I see his stats for the game, and I see that four under that INT category, it just makes me laugh. Like, how you throw four picks? Like, uh, the best part about it, though, is sometimes he'll throw four picks, but throw four touchdowns at the same he time. He will, but the thing is, like, his interceptions, I never, like, they're not like Brady or Rodgers interceptions where they're tipped. Or like the oh, no, no, no. They're, like, direct, like, you know, <laughs> like, like, that's what throwing you. Route, man. Like, you know, straight to the but throw, like, y'all speaking about backup quarterbacks, he has the greatest backup quarterback of all time behind him. Oh, he's got his magic. 
And he, and, and guess what? They kept him. Right. <laughs> the Buccaneers kept this magic. And he, I mean, he's definitely not a Nick Foles, but he can... He'll air it out, man. He is not afraid to throw that ball, and I, I respect it. He's like, when I, if he starts doing good, he's like, oh, 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 let's oh, bring this back real quick. The yeah. Like, it's crazy when you guys oh, y'all want me to start? quarterbacks after, like, the fourth interception quarter. <laughs> like, you know you're not starting next week once you throw that fourth pick. <laughs> and the third one, you're still good. But you got a fourth one, they think you got He's like, ah. <laughs> yeah, I'm itching. I'm itching. I got to do it. I got to nah, throw an interception. <laughs> <laughs> to, to wrap this up real quick, jump, jump over to the NBA. Uh, LeBron James is in playoff mode. The rest of the Lakers are getting dragged along with him. Brandon Ingram started showing out after the yes. All-Star game, after they told him he's going to get traded. But he's like, nah, fam, not today. Kuzma's doing pretty good, but he's kind of injured. Josh Hart is injured right now. Rajon Rondo's back in the starting lineup. They lost two games prior to this, but finally beat the Pelicans last night on LeBron James' like yeah. three-pointer. Yeah. How do y'all feel about LeBron James being an AR for two chains? I don't know what an AR is. I don't know what that does. I just know that that means he's been working with two chains on the album. I mean, he's in LA. You know what he's doing? He's working on Space Jam this summer. Like he's yeah. I mean, so at least it's during the summer. Yeah, doing an that. AR is artist repertoire is the division of record label or music publisher company that's responsible for talent scouting and overseeing the artistic development of recording artists and songwriters. I think oh. it's to bring in more of like publicity. So did. Did, did LeBron really have a groin injury, or was he just doing? He did. <laughs> or was he just doing scouting for two chains? <laughs> he was at the flop. He's like, oh, <laughs> really? What's the most believable injury I can have? Right, <laughs> groin. Oh, you can't prove that I don't have a right. groin injury. Like, oh, I personally feel that he's doing both. He's managing it, but he knows this is a throwaway season. I mean, I would. I think he still wanted to make the playoffs. Is it though? Obviously. Is it a throwaway season? Let's oh, okay, go to the what, stats. What kind of competitive? What, what kind of competitive edge does this person have though? If, if he's got to look at it like that. He I'm wants not... to make the playoffs. Okay. So, but if it's a throwaway season, why even make the playoffs? Why even, well, it's why not even a throwaway season time? in the sense that, like, oh, let's get a draft pick. It's a throwaway season in the sense that they're not expecting him to ball the first year. I mean, you're, it is LeBron should. James, so you expect yeah. him to. Yeah. But look at what he – okay. LeBron usually does have a bit more talent on his roster. I mean, he, I mean, well, except last year when he didn't have anything. Did, but yeah, yeah, it's different. Wait, the, hold on. In the, on the rosters that he's had, can you name two other players that are not Kyrie or Dwayne Wade or Chris Bosh? And what's the white dude's name? Kevin uh, Love. Kevin Love. That he has on those teams that are legit talents. Well, here's what I will say. Because you guys, I don't know if you guys really watched Cleveland like during the regular season. You talking about before, before Miami or after Miami? Well, after. Okay. Corbett Corver was no joke in the regular season, bro. If you look at him, true, I think he's like true. fifth. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'll give you that. For, now, what was he in the playoffs? He wasn't. He was, he was trash. Yeah, he, Yo, okay. He, he, he was. He was trash. But he got them to the playoffs. You know who got them their actual trophy? And they should have never traded him? Matthew Dellavedova. The he goat. Was, he was. He was power, man. He was, he was clutch. <laughs> but, no, Corver was, you, Corver was like Bibby back in the day, man. Bibby was. You mean Bibby over, man. <laughs> you talking about priest bowl, Bibby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before all the extra. <laughs> him and Peyton Manning got the same hookup. <laughs> before all the extra stuff. <laughs> No, he Corbin was, was swishing it, man. And, he didn't, and, and all, LeBron's always had a shooter, but now he kind of he has no a, shooters on that team right now. He has now. guys that no. just they don't look as hungry, man. But I feel like Brandon Ingram always looks hungry. Well, I mean, like literally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, Ingram's balling. Ingram's balling. Kuzma's kind of fizzling out a little bit. But he'll come back. Well, he's injured right now. Yeah, a little wound, a little beat up. I don't know. I, I feel like this is a throwaway season in the sense that there's no ex- major expectations. I mean, LA. Eventually, he's got to bring a ring there in the, in the, in the, yeah. under his current contract. And he will. Someone's going to sign. Someone's going to turn this upside down in the offseason. Oh, yeah. It's just that. Yeah, Kyrie Andy, Irving. Huh? Kyrie Irving. He already apologized. <sighs> Bro, I'm sorry. I think Kyrie would do better in the, in the Knicks, man. Yeah, when we get Zion and KD. Uh, Kyrie, KD, Zion, DSJ, and DeAndre Jordan. I'll take that starting five. DeAndre Jordan? Yeah, dude, look at look at his stats. DeAndre Jordan's a beast. Oh yeah, I mean career wise, I don't know how he's looking this year. Oh, he's looking real good since they. So we're not going to talk about the Mavs this year. Ooh. Breaking news from NFL: uh, Cowboys agreed to contract terms with Jason Witten. He's decided to end his retirement and resign with uh, Dallas for a <laughs> sixteen season. What I say? <laughs> what I say? He didn't even have to do well this season yet. He didn't even do well yet. Now, because of that, I was about to have a shitty ass season. But I, they should not have done that. I'm telling you, God damn it! Wait, wait, wait. This was their season. Can, can you re- hold on? Hold on. Let me. Let me. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Goodness. You want to read it? Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. 
then transition to you. Go ahead and say it again. You gotta put your newscaster voice on. Breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> Dallas Cowboys agreed to contract terms with tight end Jason Witten. He has ended his retirement and returned to Dallas for his 16th season. It's pretty good. AKA, he was trash in the booth. He broke the Pro Bowl he trophy. Broke the Pro Bowl trophy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I, I didn't even know this was a thing that was. I heard Jason Garrett was in the booth. Did you say Garrett the first time? Did I say Garrett? If I, if I, I said Garrett, I meant Garrett, Witten. I'm like, okay, I'm like, this no, I Witten. If I said Garrett, I meant Witten. Wow, Witten's coming back, man. That is. That's crazy. Well, I, I, I man, don't even. Man. I didn't even know this was. He must I have would, really been hating life in that booth. He's like, oh, Tony can do it. Tony's a natural at it. Right. Yeah, he's just calling plays. He's just up there being a quarterback, basically. <laughs> like, oh, I've seen this play before. I. I don't know, man. That's I was wondering where my phone crazy. was blowing up. They don't need. I mean, they don't need him for blocking, though. They need him for just. They, they need, need him for, for his sure hands. Yeah, they, go out five yards. Right in the middle, the boom, they done. They're definitely getting rid of Cole Beasley, man. That means he's coming to the Ravens. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that I is... can see him with the Ravens, or I can see him with the the Buccaneers. Well, uh, Ravens gonna need somebody since they let Crabtree go. Crabtree didn't do anything for us anyway, so. Bro, well, they didn't throw Crab, you gotta res- no. Uh, no, I respect right. Crab. No, I respect Crab. But they didn't use him how we expected him to be used when he first got signed. Well, because Flacco was the cornerback. He was used correctly. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, whatever. So, now that we're on the topic of guys coming back, Des Bryant should be coming back from that ACL. He, he had, he had a, pretty much a, literally the entire season to recover now for it. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you think the Saints will try to sign him again, give him another shot, or do you think he'll, he'll have a better free market this time? Yeah, no, he won't. I think I think it'd be good on the other side, other side, Michael Thomas. I mean, they have to give him a little, little respect. Well, I mean, the referee start stop screwing these guys over. Oh my yeah. goodness! <laughs> right, we're gonna wrap that up because I gotta get some food. <laughs> uh, if you wanna follow the show, hit us up on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook at Turtle Show. If you wanna get on the show, just hit us up in the DMs. We'll get you on, and ain't no problem. We will argue. We will argue. I mean, I just say facts. Y'all just disagree oh, with it. Go no Rockies. Go Nuggets. Championship City. Jesus Wait, what? No, negative. <laughs> Bring them all. I don't know New what. Boston. I don't New know what y'all Boston. be smoking out there in uh, Denver, but we out. <laughs> we out.